It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters. Let's get right off into this, man. Um, New Jersey twerk recovering from a close encounter with death. He had in the accident the other day, man. Pictures surfing in over the internet, man. His face buffed open and everything, man. And um, I wish you a speedy recovery, little bro, man. But you need to start paying attention to the signs that God is showing you. Because the enemy has his hand on you, brother. And he really trying to remove you and take you out. Not too long ago, you was at an event and your car was shot up. You could have been in that car. And as big as you is, bro, where would you be ducking? Where would you be ducking? It's a good thing that it didn't happen to you, bro. Then now you're in another accident, bro. That could have claimed your life also. These are signs. And these are God warning to you to turn around whatever that you're doing, bro. Because there's a target on you that the enemy has on you. And he's revealing the results he want to have over your life. He's trying to kill you, brother. Wake up. Open your eyes. Get under your mother's anointing, brother. Get under your mother's anointing. How long do you think that God is going to continue to wrestle with you in these issues and situations? If you could dedicate so much love and loyalty and devotion to streets and gangs, bro, what that say to you about being a son? What do that say, bro? I just saw you not too long ago on the internet buying your mother a brand new car as her eyes watered with just joy, knowing that you 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 did that for her. I know you love her, brother. But let me ask you something. Love should compel you, bro, to want to choose better for your life. And you a father. What about your children? What example do you set for them? See, we get to the point where we try so hard to please guys, to please others, to please the streets. What do the word of God tell you? Curse is the man who put his trust in another man. We try to seek validation in others. When we not understand that our rewards and gifts and success and treasures is in our own families, our own children, the women who love us, the family who, 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 who will be there for us no matter what, in your bloodline, that is the lifeline of your success. You got all this talent, bro. You got all this potential. You have the power to influence a new generation to want to know who the Lord Jesus Christ is. But you rather for them to know what a blood is rather than the one who shed his blood. Think about that. It's so backwards, bro. Who do you care more about? Who do you care more about? The one who shared his life and gave his life on the cross and shed his blood for your sins? Or some gang-banging, drug, murderous, perverted person that's actually the leader and origin behind all these gangs. Any gang you name, the origin of it comes from a wicked, evil, corrupted man who probably wouldn't even like you in real life if he met you. It wouldn't care about ending your life if you slipped up in any type of way. That's what the history of that stuff shows you. You young brothers out there dying over these gangs, sacrificing yourself to this stuff, seem like y'all just looking for love and acceptance from streets. Rather than seeing the greatest love you can give is the love you give to yourself. The love that you give to yourself. Come on, think about it, bro. You think that make your mama proud seeing that? You think your children should be proud of that? No, brother. That street life, man, will kill you. Ain't nothing good in that. Do not allow these people to praise you, pat you on the back, build you up, to think that actually uh, 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 you doing something good, living that type of life. When you keep having these close encounters with death. 
Get your mind in the game, little bro. Step up out of that weakness, man. Don't be so weak. How could you be so strong but so weak? Come up out of that, bro. Lock in. Get your mind right. Rather than trying to please smack and beasley, how about pleasing your Lord Jesus Christ? Where it really matters at. How about that? Why are you so ashamed of the gospel? Why are you so afraid of where you come from? Why can't you make that popular? Why you can't make that attractive? Why you can't make that work for you? Why you won't allow God to elevate you, bro? What are you doing? Then you had all these people behind you, but you leading them where? Where are you leading them? Do you not know, bro, you could have died and went straight to hell? Think about it. If you died right now, where do you think you were going? Baked upon the life that you live in. Where do you think you were going? The devil trying to kill you, boy. And send you to hell for the rest of your life. But you couldn't, you couldn't even blame him. Because guess what? You choosing to play the game. You choosing to be a part of it. So it's nobody's fault but yours. How long, though? How long do God continue to wrestle? How long, brother? How long do your mother have to continue to pray to get you out of that situation, man? What matters the most? Coming home at night, holding and loving your son and your daughter? How important is that? How important is that, man? Come on, little bro, man. You got to snap up out of this, man. You got to snap up out of this, bro. Where's your zeal for life? Where's your zeal, man? Where is it? Come on, man. I hope you have a change of heart. Change of mind. Let you take this real serious. Pay attention to the signs, bro, of what's going on around you. And the very same, think about this. And the same people, to some degree, you were willing to trust and go to war and go to bat with, began to backbite, mock, and betray you also. See that? Go right back to the word. He who puts his trust in man, may he be a cursed. Cursed is the man who put his trust in man. Stop trusting in people. Start trusting in God, your Lord Jesus Christ. Stop being afraid to become great in God. Allow him to use you. He put you in position. And the enemy is trying to remove that flame, bro. Because he knows the power it possesses. Influence is dangerous. And you have that. You have people who are willing, bro, to do whatever you say. Because that's the power of popularity. Famous. An enemy trying to get you to do it for him. Rather you doing it for God. Take heed to what I'm saying, little bro. Don't come out that hospital, bro. Same way you were going in. Be a changed man, bro. Your father. Step into position. Take care of your home. Your son and your daughter is your game. That's who you can trust. That's who you can trust. Come on, man. Get your head in the game, little bro. And thank God you didn't die and lose your life. Because I see you on the internet like, by the grace of God. Okay, and what are you going to do now seeing that God saved you from your own faults? What you going to do now? Because, see, I be paying attention to you sometimes, bro, when I watch you. And I see the struggle that's going on in your life. I could tell you wrestling with so many demons. Every time I see you puffing that cigarette or putting that liquor up to your mouth, you can't sedate a demon. He's just as strong as he is in your life, even when you drunk and intoxicated. In fact, you're giving him more power over you because now you're not even sober-minded. You're not at your full potential. 
Get in the game, bro. Get in the game. Because regardless to what, you is, you is a part of it. You're going to fight or you're going to roll over. What you going to do? Come on, man. Get in the game. Look at how I'm dominating this game. Look at how God is using me to dominate this game. Why you can't be doing the same thing? I've been dominating battle rap blogging since I got here. Three years ago. I continue to stay hot. I ain't cooled off yet. Influencing hundreds and thousands of people to come to the knowledge of Christ. And he providing and taking care of me. Why you can't do the same thing? Why you can't do the same thing, bro? What's wrong with you, brothers, man? Jesus said other people come in their name and y'all accept them. But I come in the name of my father that you may have life and y'all reject me. Why do you keep rejecting your savior? He more than just the words you say out of your mouth, bro. He more than just, oh, I know Jesus is true. I know he is. Okay, where's the evidence to back up that fact that you saying? Where's the evidence? Who have you won to Christ? Who have you won to Christ? Locking your spirit, bro. Tap in. You're getting older and older. Take advantage of the opportunity you got right now while you got it. Start surrounding yourself around positive, wise people who have your best interests. Who won't just let you go down the drain. Who won't see you drink your life away, smoke your life away, thug your life away. The Bible say iron sharpens iron. You need to surround yourself with positive, strong men who love the Lord Jesus Christ, just like you do, man, who working for a better tomorrow for their future and their children, man, in their life. That's what you need to start doing. Watch how better your life become. With that being said, it's your boy Battle Truth. It ain't my judge when that's some questions it's yours. Hit the link in the description box. Subscribe to Battle Truth. Join my Patreon if you ain't a member of my Patreon, man. Twerk, man, come on, man. The enemy got his hand on you, bro. Are you going to let him kill you and send you to hell? Or are you going to fight up out of this thing, position yourself, be a father like you're supposed to, man, and use your gifts and talents to inspire, to motivate, to bring people to the knowledge of Christ that they may have eternal life and to make your mother proud, man, of all those years of praying that she's doing over your life. You can't have them both. Make a choice. You're either going to please the streets and abandon your family or you're going to please your family and abandon the streets. But you can't have them both. And if you're not willing or man enough to make the decision, the streets are going to make them for you. You just ain't going to like the choice that it makes for you. And you're not willing to risk it. You're not willing to sacrifice it. You need to think about that. And it's battle truth. Name my judgment. That's some questions. It's yours. Come up out of that place a different man.